Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. This is Dark Knight Reviews, and today I have actually a special show for you. I'm actually here in San Salvador, El Salvador. So I'm visiting the country and I decided to go and check it out. See what they have on collectibles and transformers, of course. So I'm gonna go visit a few uh, stores and see if I, if I can meet up with uh, a uh, local collectors and see what they have. Um, I'm always curious to find out how people collect outside the US and as you can see it's a beautiful country beautiful weather beautiful people so i hope you enjoy the show so let's get started on transformers from el salvador <laughs> Well, this is my view from the uh, window uh, from the airplane, so it was kind of nice to see that. Now, uh, Salvador is located in Central America, which is basically close to the Ecuador. That means it's a uh, tropical weather, as you can see in there. You know, a lot of trees uh, traveling from the airport, uh, going to the place that I was staying at. So it was nice to see a lot of uh, a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation. Uh, you know, feeling feeling that tropical weather in there. So it's nice and the place that i was staying it was pretty nice too uh basically it's right there uh, on the city of san salvador so i had a nice view of the city uh the city is uh the first view that you saw in there uh tall building that was there and there is a volcano in there too uh the san salvador volcano and uh yeah so a lot of volcanoes a lot of uh mountains trees and uh tropical weather so I had a chance to at least, you know, bring some stuff with me, some core classes, figures to give away. So there we go. Hey everybody, so I'm over here at Walmart in San Salvador and I stopped by the uh, toy section. Because obviously I want to see what they have in here as far as Transformers or any other toys. So, uh, <laughs> so just, be, just be aware it's going to be a surprise, okay? Alright, let's check it out. Okay, so I'm over here in the toy section and... Uh, there you go, there's Transformers, they do have Transformers, wow! <laughs> well, not a lot, but uh, Dropkick, yeah, and they got the, they got the worst version of it, of Dropkick, Bomb Movie Movie, as far as the studio series, I mean, that's all I see, and it's even on discount, 15 bucks, figure is studio, I don't know, maybe, or well, maybe it's 30. Oh no, Studio Series is 30, maybe this one is 15. Cyberverse, what do they have for Cyberverse? Bumblebee, yeah, you got stuff in here. And then this is something I haven't seen in a while. Power of the Primes, little core class what it is right now. They have a lot of air rides in uh, Siege as far as the core classes. But look at the price, Generations 25, so yeah quite quite expensive uh, this one somebody took the leg out of Bumblebee and yeah not much I guess this, this is it yeah 150 well that's interesting well this is it uh, not much at Walmart in San Salvador. I feel bad for the collectors in here. And I really don't have that much place because it's only like about two Walmarts around here. Uh, this one and I think there's another one, but I doubt the other one will have because it's not in a uh, fluent area. This is kind of like the rich area and <laughs> you can see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you know, this is it. So Walmart. It's just, it's just Walmart. <laughs> Maybe compared to another store in, in, uh, in the U.S. with not a lot of stuff on it, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna go and see if we can find another place that we can find more figures. Well, everybody, I'm over here at the second store, which is uh, C-Man, as you can see, uh, all the way in the, uh, the end. And this is basically a mall. It's a Galleria's Mall in Escalon, 
San Salvador, El Salvador, and basically it's a pretty nice area. As you can see, they have a nice fun thing in there. Pretty fancy, you know, for the area, so it's nice. So let's go check it out, see what they have in there. Hey everybody, so I'm over here at the Siman store. That's the name right there. Siman. It's kind of like a Macy's, so I'm gonna go and check it out, see if they have any Transformers or any other collectibles in there. I heard they have pretty good stuff, so we're gonna find out. But yeah, it's kind of nice. Now I'm over here in the toy section. Um, I'm just a little careful in filming because I'm not sure uh, how cool they're gonna be for me filming and especially speaking English. So let me see if I can check the Transformers section. So I just found in here. And they do have a lot of variety in compared to Walmart. Now the price, that's a little bit different. Uh, the looks class is $36.90 and that's dollars. That's US, US dollars. They handle, they handle US dollars here. Uh, Black Arachnia. So they do have Kingdom at least. Um, and they still have some of the Siege core, which is 1890 so it's about the double price now they do have a little core classes for kingdom and i'm pretty sure it's about the same price so 1890 so it's not bad and the voyager class voyager class is 5190 so it's, yeah, it's about 10 bucks more and then this one over here they have G.I. Joe <laughs> I just paused for a little bit because I wasn't sure if they're going to be saying something to me so G.I. Joe they have it for $38.90 so I guess it's not bad oh, look at this one Fire Cyber Burst uh, I guess the battle $44.90 so price wise now look at this one $88.90 so yeah little double price ouch uh oh <laughs> I'm just a little careful but anyway yeah they do have a lot of bunch of uh, transformers so it's not bad uh, what else are they having here uh, just a regular toy store I mean they do have a lot of uh, nice quality not, not all Chinese stuff <laughs> so yeah it's, it's nice pretty big I'll say pretty decent size now I did saw a uh, by the entrance let's go check it out <laughs> nothing more of interest in here now they do have a hot wheel section and here's the monster jam trucks 390 890 so yeah the minimum wage is basically $300 per month that's the minimum wage for that's the uh, for you know average person that works the salary is 300 a month so you can you can make the math how much it will be one of those figures so this one's over here they have the international one and that's the C5, it's international. But it's two dollars. Two bucks, so just a one extra dollar. But they do have a nice nice collection of hot wheels. That's kinda nice. Nice. And that's oh, this one. Wow, they have this one already here. I didn't even see that one over there yet. Oh, that's nice. They have already this one. That's kind of cool. Oops, sorry, I wasn't pointing the camera at it. I just don't know the price. Uh, 45.90. So that's not bad. 45.90 for the Shark Tank Motu. 
That's kind of cool. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, unfortunately, I only had two places to visit uh, as far as the stores goes. Uh, now, stay tuned for the second part of this uh, special, which I actually meet with collectors of the area. And I also went to a place where they do uh, exchanges of uh, Transformers and other figures of collectible toys. So stay tuned for the second part. Thank you so much. We'll see you later.